mound for the Diamondbacks. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, this guy's not going to blow you away. He's a consistent major league pitcher. Look, his ERA last year a little bit over four, but he takes the baseball. And he's the guy that's going to take his lump, but he's going to keep coming back at you. And I think we'll probably see that kind of performance today. A chance now for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Harold, what's the key for them today? This is going to be a dog fight tonight. They are facing a premier pitcher. I'm Not talking exactly. about one of the elite guys Don't in the stop. league. I want to see Corey if they Seager. make little tweaks to how they might attack him. Are they going to lay off that nasty breaking ball with two strikes? Or will they be able to drive the ball to the ballpark when they get that one pitch to hit? This is going to be a great matchup. Oh, right there. Sometimes you can just miss a ball. Doesn't mean you have to swing and miss, but that ball is right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't square it up the way he'd like to. He missed it. Throw on to first is in time, and Grinkley. He's got himself third. two outs. Third baseman. Digging in. Justin, Justin Turner. Turner. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Over the bleachers and onto the concourse. A home run. So a solo shot here to left center field and the Dodgers strike first one to nothing. Well there's an old saying that the harder you throw the farther it goes. How about this good fastball and this ball is absolutely tattooed. See you later. Batting four. Into the box First now. Basement. Cody Belanger. Belanger. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back to back home runs. So a solo shot here to left center field, and the Dodgers move in front now, two to nothing. not the way you'd like to start a game right first inning you come in you give up two home runs we'll see if he can regroup right here it's not easy to sometimes come back from that batting fifth the into the box Yosmani Grandal Yosmani as Grandal jumps ahead of him here with strike one now that's a big swing. That's what the big fella's supposed to do. Look to go downtown. Let it all fly. He let the dog out right there. I want to see if he calms it down or does it again on this pitch. That gets down and the inning continues. So the two out base hit on the top of the inning is still alive. Well he saw a good Batting fastball the pitch before Not and then he singles it. on this fastball. Austin. This is the big leagues. You can't continue to challenge guys. Not the good hitters anyway with the same pitch repeatedly. In now, Austin Barnes, as he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center, and that's going to get down for extra bases. Grandal is on his way home, and a relay home, and they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. And he certainly has been no mystery to solve thus far. And sooner or later, they might need to get someone else in there just to get out of the first. Jock Peterson. Striding into the box, Jock Peterson. Trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The swing and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A two run blast to straight away right field and with it the Dodgers have opened it up to a five nothing lead. Well when a manager talks about hitting being contagious that is exactly what we're talking about. One guy tees off and the guy behind him starts to feel a little bit more confident a little bit more focused. The next thing you know you've got three home runs in an inning and your entire offense is off and running. 
Batting in now is Yasiel right Puig. Number 66. Yasiel he swings Puig. and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Pollock on the run. He makes the play. A great catch on the run to retire the side. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. We'll move. Now in the box, A.J. Pollock. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the Leading first. Leading off for the diving box, number 11, center fielder, Hit to short. Seeger is up with it. One away. And with that, seven. let's take a look at the hometown Very Diamondbacks excellent. lineup card. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, clearly, it didn't start the way they wanted it to. They're already down a bunch of runs, but what do you do? You play the same game. Try to manufacture, score runs. Let's try to win this inning, the next inning. Chip away at that lead until you get right back in the game. That's a great pitch right there. A fastball low and away right on the knees on the corner. That's why you get a late swing right there. Really impressive. 0 2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. Here's a swing and a high pop up. And there's out number two. Batting third, first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two yeah. away. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. He's not messing around this inning. He's attacking this. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Settling in now, Clayton Kershaw. He'll lead it off against Zach Greinke to open up the inning. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the D-backs. And I'm looking at third baseman Jake Lamb. Now, they put him in the outfield every now and then, but he's primarily a third baseman. I think he surprised a lot of people coming out of the University of Washington. They didn't think he was going to have this kind of power. He's not only got power, he's got good range defensively as well. Number five. Here's Corey Seager. Over one for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch now from Greinke. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Pollock racing back. Out of here. A solo shot, and they add another. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on Stepping in now, Justin Turner. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Well, Matty jumped first on that first pitch after the home run. It's a line Cody. drive for a base hit. Well, I was always a little reluctant to get in the box after you gave a home run, thinking he might dust me right here. Into the box now, Cody Belanger, as he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Turner rounds third and is digging for the plate. He is in time and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. But the Dodgers add on courtesy of this solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's the Dodgers six and the Diamondbacks nothing. Into the box now, David Peralta. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going, so what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Now the pitch. 
And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. No problem here. One away. Batting fifth. Left fielder. Does money. Come on. Here's a high pop-up. Turner calls for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Batting six. Brandon Second Drury baseball. will bat next. Brandon His lifetime Drury. numbers against Kershaw, one for six. <laughs> he also has one home run. 0 and, 1. and a high strike there, 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another 0 2 home. And look oh, out as that fastball is. ran in and got him. Ouch, bang. Here's Chris Owings now. Seven. He takes his Let's first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Owings. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. A wave and a miss. A tick behind a good fastball. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly. And the inning is over. One left for Arizona. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network. Thanks again for joining us from inside the air conditioned confines of Chase Field in Phoenix. Leading off here's the, the catcher Yasmani Grandal. He'll stand nine. in to open things Yasmani up here in the third. Grandal. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. And they are able to get the out at first, but more importantly, let's hope he's okay on up the mound. For the Dodgers. Left fielder. Trying to pick Austin things up where he left Barnes. off. Austin Barnes. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. And this is hit hard up the middle. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting the center fielder. Jock. Ready Peterson. to take his hacks again. Jock Peterson as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Drilled on the ground to short. Owing down on the ground. Hey now. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Now to the plate, Zach Grinke. He'll be the one to start things Edward. here against Clayton Kershaw. First pitch on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Some guys with big arms like this they're just Got chuckers. They just throw the ball Catcher. as hard as they can and Chris. where it ends up isn't that big of a concern but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Here's the catcher now Chris Iannetta as Kershaw will get the upper hand here with strike one his lifetime numbers against Kershaw comes in with six hits in 25 tries he's taken him deep once oh and this is swung on and missed four strikeouts already a 